interesting one. As a published author, what does success mm -hmm. mean to you? How do you define that? And just give a big size on that. Let's start with um, Let's start with Carson, and then we'll skip one, and then we'll come back. I wrote an answer, and it's um, bags of Benjamins. <laughs> Any thoughts, opinions, or questions you would like to ask them? What, you know, what bold strokes? Why bold strokes? What's unique or what's you know what's compelling about going with celebrity hotness? <laughs> 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 I wrote a mission statement and, I, and it's on our website and I don't even think I've changed it since then and there were a lot of things that I wanted to do when I started a publishing company but one of the things that I felt really strongly about is that our work and our authors deserve to be everywhere we are a niche market in the sense that we don't have hundreds of thousands of readers <coughs> But we're not niche in terms of what we do. Our work is as valid as any other book. And to me, that meant we needed to be on the big stage. And you know, there's a saying in surgery, think small, stay small. And that was not me. And that was not what I wanted this company to be. So I had two goals, to publish quality queer fiction. And initially, it was only lesbian <coughs> fiction, and then we expanded. But it had to be good. I mean, by whatever standards one can apply, you know, it had to be good work that people would enjoy reading and not be mad that they bought this book. Even if they didn't particularly like the story, it should still be a good book, so quality work. But the other thing that really matters to me is that when an author signs with a publisher, there's a responsibility that the publisher has to represent that author <coughs> in the marketplace, to help them bring the best work to the audience that's possible, and that means good editors, it means money for marketing, it means quality covers, as the best distribution, the same distribution that Nora Roberts has, we have. I mean, that's really, really important. Otherwise, there's gonna be a ceiling to how many people you can reach. And you can talk about Bags of Benjamins, but what that means is how many readers actually have a chance to read your book. And the key there is distribution, and that's the first thing that I did when I started the company was get mainstream distribution. That is one of the things that sets us apart, I think. In, in addition to all of the quality that we have built in over the years in our editorial staff and our graphics and our you know, people like Carson, who you know, literally devotes hours to helping authors set up readings, get their books where they need to be. Um, we're a company, I believe, that works for the authors, and that's what your publisher should do.